Nicolas Cage's sci-fi stuff, starting with Next. Now, I do like this movie. This movie is good in some aspects, but everything around it, I do find it boring. Like, Jessica Biel's character, she is there to be, like, the girlfriend, essentially. She's useless in this role. Cage is just like, that's my girl because I like her. It's like, why? Okay, whatever. Julianne Moore stuff, I do like that. Only when it's tied to Cage's powers, where he can see the future, but only for, like, 5 to 10 seconds, I think, or something like that. It's cool because it limits the whole power of he can see the future, but it's only limited creates the tension of like a second chance a redo of don't fuck this up and if you do that's on you and so that part of it is cool it's kind of like a video game cage has these powers but he just wants to be left alone fuck everyone else this is my life fuck off right but julianne moore wants something more out of him because he has his ability he can change disasters and help people and so he doesn't want the responsibility of saving people or being this hero and then by the end he has to become that and so that's kind of the whole point of julianne moore and the cops and fbi like hey come to us you can help us we're not gonna like kill you or anything just help us very reluctant of like no fuck off i don't want anything to do with you and so he has to learn to accept that and just kind of move on from that goes with julianne more to prevent future disasters and so that part of it is really good and kept me interested throughout the whole movie anytime i come back to him jessica built in this movie is just whatever kind of sucks for her most of the action sequence or even like sci-fi stuff it's fine but whenever he prevents something that's interesting that's cool that's good cage is just kind of running away from the fact that he can change lives and prevent all of these things that just kind of wants to run away from it because it's a lot more easier than actually you know confronting the issue and it's just a lot more work than just you know preventing like a robbery or even in, i think vegas where he stops that robbery that takes effort preventing like the whole world destruction and whatnot that's on a bigger scale and obviously that scares him he doesn't really want that responsibility but kind of has to by the end it's also not like forced on him well it is at first but by the end he's like okay you know what i guess i'll do this because i have this ability sure so i do like next a lot despite it's very obvious issues and flaws i do like this movie knowing is a bit of a weird one this isn't a bad movie but it's a movie that's a mystery at first and then when everything is revealed it's like okay you know like i don't know the whole mystery stuff i wasn't intrigued by and so by the end whenever it was revealed that the whole earth and planet needs to be wiped out from existence for i need to be better or something like that these two kids are chosen okay all right whatever there's this capsule thing in this town planet in 1959 50 years later in 2009 the capsule is now out and it's been kept as a capsule because it gives a town good luck or something like that and then some crazy ass old lady that was a little girl back in the flashback comes in present to be like saw some shit on a piece of paper writing numbers and shit and then eventually cage knows about this finds out and draws to the conclusion that people are gonna die and get wiped out and so it's this big mystery of why the hell do all these people need to die what do these numbers mean and whatnot and meanwhile i'm just here sitting i don't know about this it's like this prophecy destiny stuff that i don't mind but the way they're going about it i didn't find it as interesting and then you got other people not believe in it while well, you have these two kids this boy and girl that are chosen because by the end this like alien slash angel like creatures in this spaceship comes in by the end being like you are chosen because i don't know paradise something like that he wants to go with them but he's not chosen so by then he has to go home to his family knowing both him his family and everyone else on this earth they're gonna get wiped out for this cause in order to recreate humanity with these two kids with like the tree of life or something that part i just don't get because i don't know about tree of life maybe it's that i just don't get haven't read it nor care for it maybe that's the case with this movie upon the movie to be okay no one believes nicholas cage is crazy and then the beans they're not completely angel slash alien like but i do like that they're not you know obviously the whole alien ship is like okay that's alien but the look of them aren't weird or goofy it's more like yeah you guys are clearly just taller and bigger and kind of just don't speak so i do like that but knowing was all right humanity bureau has a really interesting premise where either agents or other people that are productive get rid of unproductive people and send them into the new eden which i so happen to be also a very unproductive person whenever i'm not doing youtube because you know being lazy is fun but that premise itself caught my interest and what happens along the way slowly less and less interesting because you have cage who are one of these people that like either recruits or get rid of people and for some reason he has an attachment to this mother and son which i don't know know if they explain or not or they did and i just didn't care for it because i just don't care about this mother or son like why is he so attached to them he shouldn't really care but he does i guess because he's a nice guy but still why do you care and then the whole movie is about saving this mother and son which again is heartfelt from cage and his character but don't really care about it until we get into the very end where turns out this new eden is a complete lie because it's where they throw away people and kill them there's a bunch of bodies and shit the whole unproductive people stuff they're using that as an excuse to 
be like, okay, you're unproductive, go to this new Eden where you just go and die. Pretty messed up. It's just a complete death camp. And so by the end of the movie, Cage and everyone else involved are like, okay, we need to be against this, revolt against it. Thor itself in this movie is not that interesting. The world of it and the reasons why these people need to go to the new Eden, those are cool. By the end, the whole death camp stuff is fine. You know, new Eden, whatever. And then the mother and son thing don't really care for and Cage is all right in this movie. And so this movie had something really intriguing from the start. Unproductive people, they need to go away. Slowly but surely, as the movie goes along, I start becoming less and less interested in it. Mother or something, not very interesting. Nick Cage is fine. And the other stuff I don't care for or is just fine. And so I was a bit disappointed. Now, maybe it is on me to be like, man, this is interesting. This should be good. And maybe it is on me, but it's not what I thought it was, essentially. They went with the more personal route, I guess, rather than the whole way more interesting, unproductive people need to go away. And instead, I was safe for the very beginning, bits and pieces throughout the whole movie and then the end so i thought it was all right and finally jujitsu which i thought was a joke film or like a parody film because the poster my first exposure to this film was the poster and it looks fine but also looks i thought it looked like a joke maybe that's just me yeah Nicolas cage like this long hair shit it's like seems weird okay i thought it would be ridiculous but it's not aside from cage himself cage feels like he's in another movie acting or trying to act in this movie because once he comes in by the i guess end of the first act beginning of the second act he doesn't show up until 30 or 40 minutes in he's just reading another script or just doing his own shtick because our main character he's bland he's boring so when he's bouncing off of cage feels off because cage is so over the top eccentric and like you know he's supposed to be like the master or something of jujitsu but every time he comes on it's like what are you reading man are you like phony in or you just don't care you're like you know what there's like no direction for me from the director let me just uh do my shtick or did the writing for his character be like act this way because if it is just writing then that mashup just doesn't mash well at all it creates a weird sort of tone from cage and our main character and then cage it just doesn't go well together there is one notable sequence in this movie where in the very beginning one of the bad guys they break out and it's a one take for a while and then there's no cuts or edits in between the sequence fight so i thought that was a really cool really good way to start off the movie which i thought would be for the whole film and it's not which is fine every other sequence and fight it's fine even the last sequence it doesn't have any punch to it because it just feels like all right just do stuff with minor edits here and there so the only sequence that was good was at the very beginning it seems like the editor in the beginning was like, okay, you know, I'll just let the stuntmen do their thing. They're professionals. And then by the end, they're like, okay, I'm just gonna cut here, here, and there. But aside from that, that's it for jujitsu because everything else is okay. Like this feels like a auto-generated script. People just had to work, make some money, and they accepted the role, essentially. Like, I don't know. It's fine. It's not awful, but it's also not like great. It's right in the middle, maybe below average. Nothing really special about it. Just wish that first sequence of like that one shot into the fight sequence would have stayed throughout the whole movie and that could have been a really big praise for this movie but it only happened one time everything else was typical action sequence it's another okay movie and that was it for Nicolas Cage's sci-fi movies I was gonna say action but no it's sci-fi another okay set of movies like I've been watching a lot of okay movies and I've been getting real tired of it but the only one I liked was next because they had powers of seeing the future and then going back but all of these were okay essentially cool fights an interesting premise but was kind of wasted but that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching.